friends, today I'm going to show you the ultimate GoPro vlogging rig. And we're going to use a Joby Gorillapod and a GoPro and a few other bits and pieces which I'll show you now. So here's the full kit. What you'll need is your GoPro, obviously, and the GoPro uh, case that it comes with. You're going to need the GoPro mic adapter. This is called the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. This is for plugging an external microphone into your GoPro. You're going to need a microphone. My mic of choice is the Rode Video Micro. Costs about $60 Australian, I think. They're quite, quite economical and comes with a 3.5 millimeter um, cable. So excellent microphone, one that a lot of pro vloggers use, especially travel vloggers because they're so compact. You're going to need a tripod. What I've got here is a Joby Gorillapod, the best on the market. Um, the, this is a 5K, I think, 5K model. It'll carry very heavy cameras like uh, a big DSLR. It'll take uh, a lot of weight, I think up to five kilograms or something. And my newest additions are the five inch triple bracket and the hot shoe adapter, which I'll go over in a minute. I was down the camera shop the other day getting some Nikon accessories and I explained my vlogging rig dilemma with the uh, camera shop lady and she put we browsed all the different accessories and came up with these as the most suitable contenders for a brand new vlogging rig. It cost me about $60 Australian for the two of them. A uh, really good example why sometimes you just need to go into the shop and have a look. It would have been really hard to find these on Amazon or eBay or something. Uh, you really need to pick them up and have a look and see which one's more suitable. Um, what I was doing before that I was attaching my GoPro to the top of the Joby Gorillapod and attaching my external microphone uh, somewhere on the tripod legs using hair ties or whatever I could get my hands on. And yeah, it worked pretty good, but it's a little bit, shall we say, agricultural. <laughs> Whereas this new Ultimate Vlogging Rig is a lot more professional looking and a lot easier to put together actually. So yeah, let's put it all together. First thing you need to do is remove the little door which houses the USB-C port on the side of the GoPro. Quite easy to do. Not sure how well you can see that, but you need to just slide the door forward a bit, give it a bit of a pull, a bit of a tug, and it'll come off. Do that before you put your GoPro into the case. Very standard stuff. So the old way was just attach this straight to Gorillapod. Works pretty well and a lot of vloggers use this method. I've used it myself for actually years now. Works a treat. But now I've got my terrific um, five inch tripod bracket. I need to keep looking at the box to remember what it's called. It's a ProMaster 5 inch triple bracket, sorry, triple bracket. I can just screw this straight onto the top of the Gorillapod. So yeah, now we've got a much more versatile Gorillapod. It's got one, two, three hot shoes on it. So we want to get the GoPro onto one of these hot shoes. Problem is the GoPro has got a threaded um, tripod attachment and this has got a hot shoe so that's where we need the hot shoe adapter have a look on my blog and you'll see a link on Amazon so all you, all you need to do is um, thread that into the bottom of the GoPro accessory really easy if you remember what way the thread goes <laughs> and it's got once again you've got these knurled adjustment knobs so when you think you're at the right level just do it up nice and tight with one of these knobs and that's not going anywhere very firm so we've now got a GoPro on a hot shoe adapter we're now going to just slide this onto our triple adapter 
Which way do we put it? Uh, well, that's up to you. I've actually been putting it on the top one, but uh, I'm going to suggest you put it on the bottom one because it might be a bit less prone to vibration that way. Once again, just do up your little adjustment knobs. And there we go. So the next one is to attach your uh, USB-C into the GoPro. Easy as doing that. Last bit of the puzzle is um, simply simply put this hot shoe adapter, which is comes on the Rode Video Micro. Same deal. Just um, tie it down there. And then all you need to do is simply put the 3.5 millimeter road plug into the GoPro adapter. And there you have it. That's the complete <laughs> vlogging rig. Um, so really good vlogging setup, quite solid, quite professional looking in my opinion. And you can, like any tripod rig, you can just set it up as a stable, stable rig the reason that's moving around is because there's a knuckle adjustment um, knob on the Joby Gorilla Pod, so that's stable now. You've also got this nice little level on the Joby Gorilla Pod if you want it. Obviously, you've got a, a third hot shoe here. You could put a light on if you wanted. Maybe you can think of some other attachment to put on. But uh, for me, I just walk around with it like that. It's quite bulky. If you really wanted to, you could just remove this top section, just use this removal knob to take the top section off. Um, I don't see any need to do that. I'm quite comfortable just walking around with it like this. It's quite a good solid grip. You do need to be a bit careful because um, it's quite a distance from here to here, so you can get a little bit of vibration. Uh, a bit of movement there, but with the GoPro Hero 7, it's got hyper smooth stabilization. GoPro, this is the Hero 7 Black. Hero 8 Black has got hyper smooth 2, so it's better once again. Um, so you, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever walking around with this rig, this stabilization. Uh, like I say, for vlogging, perfect vlogging rig. You've got excellent dynamic range for talking into a microphone with this um, Rode Video Micro. All you've got to remember is when, once you take this little door off your GoPro, um, it's no longer waterproof, so you're not going to go out in the drizzle, in the rain with this rig. But as long as you stick to that limitation, this won't let you down. So there you have it. What do you think, folks? Is it a good rig? Let me know what, what you think. Let me know if you've got any better ideas. Um, for me, I'm going to stick with this for a while, take a few videos, see how it looks. Uh, th these are going to turn out excellent quality indoors or outdoors because you've got stabilization, you've got um, excellent audio, and you've got the versatility of the Joby Gorillapod. So that's it folks. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know if you've got any better ideas and We'll see you in the next video. See you later. Guys.